Hello everyone, we're here today with The Flame in the Flood, which is a game that came out... I'm not sure entirely sure if it was on Early Access because I wasn't able to buy it then, but certain people were able to play it. I guess because they were given access or something like that from the developers. And recently, I think it came out with the f possible full version? Either that or it's still considered early game. I'm not entirely sure yet. I should look at the Steam page again to be sure. But anyway, um, so yeah, I uh, looked like a very interesting game, style-wise. Looks a bit like uh, something kind of Tim Burton-esque, maybe. Like the first things that would come to mind are uh, Paranorman and Coraline in similar style. But uh, yeah, so I figured, why not let's play this? So let us begin. Traveler, recommend it for new players, checkpoints, normal, bonuses, and supplies. Um, I guess I'll do Traveler, because I don't know how it all works yet. Look, free goods! <laughs> Good dog. Stealing a dead man's backpack. Every once in a while, kind of buckles, it seems. Oh. Pay it forward. I'm not sure what that was for, but still. Oh, maybe because I And there is the person we're playing today. Not sure if they knew each other? Or maybe this is the first. Yeah. Thank you, dog. So yeah, the story of this game, as far as I know, is that some sort of, um, flood happened, and now most of the world is stuck under, well, a giant river, it seems. A bit of fire to craft ash cake. Uh, I guess, should we that first thing? Fire. Sit. <clears throat> uh huh. A dry cake made from corn. Edible. Currently have zero. Made of two corn and requires five. Let's create. Oh yeah. So of course it's a survival crater. There's a survival uh, crafting game that uh, we. I don't know why I seem to be at a loss of words. Scout basics, player inventory, blah blah blah. Gotta keep an eye on everything, let's see. Famine. Find home for a spell, but it's time to move on and see where this dog came from. Maybe there's someone else out there. Yeah, that is a good hope. We won't all be dead. Ooh, pretty cool. And Tinder. There's a crow. Why? Water info. Water is key for a wilderness survival. Use a jar to gather water from rain, wells, puddles, or a river. You may get some polluted water, but beware the consequences of getting sick. Polluted water is purified by crafting a water filter. Now, uh, let's see what we got here. Take, uh, water filter, jerky, night crawlers. I assume for, uh. Let's see, clean them. I assume for fishing? Hmm. Wait, can I do something with the dog? Oh, a feather. Okay. And let's see. Uh, quick menu, blah blah blah. So yeah, this seems like a little charming game that I figured uh, would be a bit fun to, uh... Oh. Nothing to collect. Basic tools. Um... Basic instructions... Okay. <coughs> oh yeah, so this is actually a good introduction, I guess. 
Travel the river by raft in search of locations to explore. Collect supplies, stay fed, hydrate and hydrated, and warm and healthy. Rest when possible to regain energy. Take shelter to escape rain during the storms. Kindle fires to warm yourself when cold or wet. Additional crafting or some possibilities are available at campfires. Access your inventory to use items, manage equipment, so on and so forth. Survive the wild as long as possible. So... About that quest that... I not mention anything about no bait, no torches, no I don't I do not know much about gods, but I think that the river is a strong a strong brown god. Sullen, untamed, and intractable. T. S. Eliot. Huh. Interesting. So it's not really telling me what the whole is for Oh wait, here we go. Inventory friction go. Uh -huh. The radio is still radio is still working, you just need to get closer to the source, you need to find higher ground. To hear the message more clearly, and then craft a stone knife and stone hammer, you'll need them to craft all manner of survival survival supplies. I need flint and a braided coat. Well, I can make one of those at least. Can't make a hammer because it doesn't seem to let me. Food. Yeah. Right, well, time to leave. Time to hop on the boat and go down the river. Kind of seems like this place is about to fall apart too. But yeah, this... Wait, is that dog wearing sunglasses? Kinda looked like the dog was wearing sunglasses. Now this is the river. One heck of a storm that brought this on. Ooh, boy. The moon's dark and scary. It's pretty damn... Uh... Pretty damn pretty. And then of course once the sun came up, it became even prettier. Ooh, and here comes rabbits. But yeah, so this is definitely going to be one of those uh, maybe short-lived series? Depending on what interest other people might show in watching this. I'm not entirely sure myself. Like I might play for a couple things, like straight through. Then I might do a couple of episodes where it's kind of skipping back and forth. Like getting past the monotonous stuff and then going to anything new. You know, that sort of stuff. Ooh, region 1 of 10. I was also told, uh, well, I should say read and told and whatnot, that the river is completely entirely random generated. So no matter, no trips, no two trips will ever be the same. Also, it looks like things keep springing up from the river. I would like to get past this thing. So I hopefully can just sneak around. around. Like so. So there's a campsite where we can get supplies. Over there is a, I think that's a boat yard. Which I won't be able to use. Until I actually get some useful equipment. But yeah. Time to head back to land, or head on to land and see what we can find. Camp du Melonfort. Crap. Crap. Somewhere. Got some of this stuff. Got some quest. Now if we could just find some flint. Nothing on the sign. Look at schematic. Ooh. Got a few things here. There we go. Now I can craft. No. Uh, wait, didn't you just say I got flint? Oh, uh, wait. But I said I got flint. 
Oh, now I Weird. Thought I pressed the right button. I guess not. And... Stone map. Now if I could just make a camera. Need two more flint, rags, and the stone knife. Oh. Alright, well, what else we got? Ooh, exactly what we need. Now, what can we have in this house? That hopefully isn't haunted. And it's empty, so never mind. Oh, now I can make a hammer, too. Haha! Metal hammer. Metal hammer schematic added. I'd like to sound a little chime. Excuse me, by the way. Don't mean to keep picking up things. Carnival. Carnival. Eat ten meat, rabbit, wolf, ball, doesn't matter. It's all good for energy when you need it. Mm, sounds delicious. Oh, think about it. Uh, so I guess I just used the, the hammer in my inventory. Or with the inventory. The charcoal, because I need it. Never know. Now we don't need to rest, and it's still midday, so... Just, Can we sneak on in? Nope, never mind. Yuka. Delicious yuka. And we have over here some devil's trumpet. Interesting. I assume I can use that to make a remedy of some sort. Oh, whoops. No, I don't want to sleep yet. So I got quite a bit of energy. Alright, alright. So I think I might cook some of that yuca, make into food, and uh, have a little snack. Sit. Because I don't think the food goes bad here, which would be nice. Hmm. Cooked yuca. I wonder what yuca actually is. I've never seen yuca. Er, I don't think I know what yuca is. Like some sort of weed, maybe? I love the music how it goes. Okay, so I need boar hides and nuts and bolts, so on and so forth. Not sure I'll get that anytime soon. Alright, so. Let's hit the river once more. The river sticks, as it seems to be. Or at least to me. And then we'll <coughs> find the next place to dock. I'm gonna try to get to the church as possible. I'm gonna go around it. I found myself on the mountain. Yeah. That was me. Bubble came out of dwellings in the clouds to Good job, there's a lot of rags, she gets a lot of power. I know you can't see me, but I am dancing in my head. Dancing like crazy. I love this kind of
shame that interrupts the music. I hate to cut the music short, but it would be a good time to play it, right? Oh, I guess it doesn't. Nice. Before? Where'd it go? Huh. Weird. Right, so how do I use the bottles then? Oh. That ain't good. the best to be moving on. Oh yeah, ah, that was just beautiful music. Oh. And off we go. Oh. Really quick. I ain't good. Maybe I should have changed stayed at the church. Slipped out the stone. Well, it was pretty dang dangerous to have a song. That's a very short song. That's trying to hopefully not run into this car. There we go. Ah, oh, the river after my. Not quite like it. Now, what's that? Is that fun? The wilderness to the right, the campsite. I'm not entirely sure what this is. It looks like a farm. And I think I'm going to be doing uh, half an hour episodes of this. Souls of Wild 2, Clean Water, and Clean Water. Ooh, cool. Aw, oh, you can cool. In that case, how about. We consume. Can I... Yes, I can. Okay. Nope. Good. Gotta sell some corn. Now I can make some more delicious food. Now about that clean water. Old lumber and moldy lumber. Not sure what they'll do, but I'm sure it'll be something useful. Also, I probably it's not too useful. You got me. Nice and cold. Probably set up a can. Still going. Yeah, I said I had a job before, so why is it that now all of a sudden I don't? Mulberries. Mm, delicious. Okay, let's see. So, I'll move that to you know, ASAP, I mean. Not sure what's best to collect, to be honest. Yes. Ah, and you have some cattail. Nice. Uh, as far as I can tell, anyway. So I'm stopping wet. Uh, apparently I'm getting colder. I think when I head to the camp site, then I'll... Uh, light a fire there. Or I can go to the wild one, too. Ooh. 
Oh, and it looks like there's a fishing hut over there, too. But yeah, so, um... Wait, cured? You look at cured. Nice. Wait, come on, come on, there we go. Dark right there. Crimson Ravine. Land on supplies. Oh, Black Wolf. The wolf is, in, is the archetype of rape. Wait, is the archetype of Raven? Beast of waste and desolation. Theodore Roosevelt. You cannot survive long in an encounter with a wolf. You'll need traps to kill it. Press X to the wolf and buy it from the time to flee. So I think that means there's going to be a wolf here. Yep, there's wolves. Definitely get out of here. I want to die too early after all. Alright, that's up. He's up. He's up. No! Uh oh! I was hoping I would have been able to make it. Apparently not. <laughs> like how the ripples are in the water too. I'm in the rack. Dang it, I'm not going to make the other thing either. I get the feeling everything I miss is not going to be good for me in the future. Uh, uh -huh. So yeah, if any of you who are watching and do feel like talking about it, when's the last time you ever been on like a boat or like a canoeing trip or something like that? Or out camping in the wild, where, well, yeah, just camping out in the wild, I guess. It's been quite a while for me. Maybe about two years. It's actually not too long. Uh, but yeah, I think I mentioned before that I used to go to California to visit my family, some of my family, and there was uh, pretty good campsites out there. Shut up, Stillens. It was always fun to run up and down the mountains, camp out for the trees, in the trees and all that. Be miles away from where everyone else is. But yeah, it's just a beautiful thing. Alright, so before I think I sleep, I think I'll sleep for the camp. Stay warm. Ah, okay. Kinda hard to see though. There we go, much better. And snap. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we can make while the thing is hidden by the trees. Yeah, let's make some ash cake. And delicious. we got to make. Nothing. Sounds about right. Got a braided corn. Tinder. Oops. Apparently I have one. I think you need two for a fire. Wasn't it? Nope. Need a flint. Yeah, that seems good for now. Now that we're not uh, freezing. Pass this on over to Usopp, or Aesop, not sure how you say his name yet. Got some rags. Fishing kit. Huh. Insulated jacket. Insulated pants. So I'm guessing I can't make that yet. I mean, can't use that because of that. Uh, let's try... An insulated jacket. Hmm. Yeah. And if there's if we get students to use blither, can't say it. Equip. Ah! 
Now we got pop. Pop schematic. And yes. Nice. Now we got more. Sweet. Alcohol and stitch and kit. Bandage. And a torch. Take all. Splint. That sounds good. Okay, so let's see what we can make. A bandage used for treatment. Insulated boots and pants. Splint. Oh, let's see the pants first. Alright, so, question is, do I make a torch? Bring lights in the night and scare off fearful creatures. A splint, which I don't need yet, but you never know. Dang it! That was a bit scary, just like, all of a sudden, boom! You're wet. Alright, so we'll go sleep the night off. Yeah, let's go find out. Well, the storm will be over by then. And it was. Nice. Get a quick cure. I think for now, I'll make the torch for when I run into more wolves. Because that's not going to be fun. Oh, but I can still make this blimp. Just in case. Might as well. Just in case I break something. You never know out in the wild. Hmm. That's nice. Yeah, I didn't even. Do we set for five of those things or something? Not sure. Come on, Yuka. Oh. Ball. Oh boy. Do I hit him? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Do I uh, just avoid it? Oh. Nah, I'm not gonna waste my torch on him. I think what I gotta do. Oh, Evie! Exactly what I needed it for. Dang it, boy! Long and error, long and error. So of course I just make it, and all of a sudden I need it. And immediately I should say I need it. That ain't good. Oh, that's a bad idea. There's another farm. I don't know if we can make it. Ah. Ah. Dang it. Can't make it. Won't let us go over there. Too hard to fight the the current, I guess. Well, let me go to the right, at least. Dang it. I swear that Wilder was calm enough that I should have been able to easily get over there. Austin has flint. Always has lit fire. Good to know. So, I think I shall be using my flint. Sir Bob. Also, I didn't know I could even move this to the rack now. So I think, for now, I'll leave this episode here. Well, we just got to a nice little camp and site, where we might find some good doodads and whatnots to collect. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely an interesting game, look-wise, and gameplay is pretty simple, but fun. 
And then maybe we can find some other interesting things to get. Or make in the future. Like traps, for example. Okay, that was a wolf. I did not realize. Hey, that ain't good. Come on, fire, fire, fire. Ow, dang it. So why didn't they tell me that before? It's beautiful little fire. Oh god. Oh boy. I think we are going to die. I do believe we are going to die. This ain't good, not in the slightest. Any chance I can make a... Oh, I can't. Oh. Interesting. But yeah, anyway, sorry. So yeah, I'll be ending the episode here. Hopefully we won't be dying of the, uh... Of this, uh, wolf thing. But yeah, so... Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little look into... In the fire and the flood. And, uh, until next time, I'll be seeing you guys. And hopefully I won't be dying of starvation. So yeah, later guys.